Hi, and thanks for joining me again as we finish up our lake sunset painting. If you didn't see the first part, I'll do a quick time lapse to show you how we got to this point. And then the objective for today is to just uh, darken and clean up some of these lines around the dock and add a little visual interest across the back horizon there. So let's get into it. So to start us off today, I've just got straight black. And if you add white to this, it gets kind of bluish. So I don't know that it's entirely colorless. But that works out fine for what we're doing here today. You can see I've got a little hair in there. But uh, it's been about two weeks since I did the first part, so this is mostly dry. So we're just going to go right back in here and start adding dark. And this should make it look just a little more rich. Might leave a little of that. Sunset poking through on the edge there. I'm actually going to give these... Make sure we're recording audio. Yep. <clears throat> and as I go here on this pass, I'm just going to try to add a little visual interest. Just so if you see some of the texture of this paint, it actually looks like trees are individuals and not just a mass and that gives makes your eye believe it a little bit better so doing elements of these back rows and come up here And just by varying directions, just putting in a little variations to kind of doing the opposite of the method of using X strokes. You do that to make it really hard to tell where the brush strokes were here. I'm kind of emphasizing where they are and just leaving little dabs of paint and things there to just make it a little more rich. I have a tendency when I get on these, when I get to an edge of something, I kind of build the paint up toward the edge, but that can leave a little ridge, and right here that's what we've got. So I want to, now that I'm coming back, the ridge is already there. I want to either incorporate that into a better line, or break it up a little bit so it's not so obvious that I was just pushing the paint to the edge of my line. Sure, so okay. This thing still like that. It's like that. Come down into where the water line is. I'm going to add just a touch of white maybe even liquid white to this black and just cut across the cut 
and across the water line really lightly to just to find some of the dark from the shadow. Okay. Also, when we let this get too goopy. It stands out so much you just notice it's a brush stroke or a, just a lift over a paint blob. And the nice side effect we're getting out of this is that. The sky is probably overworked, I can say definitely overworked, which made it really super smooth. So by adding a little texture to this, it just sets the sky off a little bit and makes it seem separate. video on the sections where I'm just painting and not talking I was I was uh, speeding up the video to about four times and let me know in the comments if you like that or if you'd like me to just leave it all um, at real time and then if you want to watch it double speed or or whatever you're welcome to do that but I don't want these to be too boring but I also don't want to be skipping over something you might want to see so just let me know did the first painting of this or the first day of painting this my wife and I kind of stood back and looked at it afterwards and felt like this dock didn't have enough gravity to it so that's why I'm trying to straighten it up and widen it out a little bit so it feels a little more planted and really I probably could have cut it back a little bit I was trying to be really accurate to the photo but it doesn't match the photo in some other ways so um, I should have just gone for better composition in the painting but her point was that you know what's the point of any of the painting below here and that's a valid criticism and I tend to agree with her I should have made the water more interesting and made it um, made it have a little more impact down on the lower half so we came up with the idea of straightening and widening the dock toward the lower part here and we'll see if that works out the way I have this easel set up it's a little hard to work on this right at the very bottom edge
guess you could argue that's a good reason to frame it. No one can see your screw ups. Screw up just on the edges if you can. Like I was saying with the brush strokes on here where I wanted it to be random and tree like, here I won't really want to. Once I get the color laid down, I really want to go back and kind of back and forth these to make it look like you can just get a hint of the texture of the, the slats of the dock. I know most modern docks are composite now, but... to paint plastic. Okay, happier with that. Grab a smaller brush and maybe a little bit of thinner. You clean up some of those little lines. All right, there's just a little bit of oil here on the back of the black. So I've got the script liner brush and I'm Winding it into a point. I don't know if you can see that there. And I'm just going to come through and clean up. things I really like about working with acrylic is that it dries so fast. I do a lot of balancing my finger on the canvas. To do that with oil you've got to wait a week or so. But with acrylic you can come back 20 minutes later to get this liner brush to stay at a nice point. You don't want little hairs sneaking off and dragging into your water. down to the palette to keep it a nice crazy with how that turned out. That went on a little, should have a little thinner paint going on there. For really seeing the texture of the canvas. I'm not, I'm not crazy about that.
of a tendency, and I don't know that it's a good one, to try stuff thinking, hey, this might work out. But generally, if it doesn't, you've just done something really weird, and I think I've just done that there. We'll see if I can clean that up with some lighter posts. Some of the posts that'll be on this side. I'm going to add some liquid white to this. Maybe just a touch of the this color too. Really make it feel like it's getting that light. I'm using the frame of the easel to kind of guide where my level line is. So I'm just letting my pinky right across there so I know about there is going to be That talk post. And at first, I'm going to just leave the white and the black make up a little pretty dark but I want a relatively thin color that I can use for my horizon out here. I'm just gonna ever so slightly just a little hint I don't know if this is going to come through in the, on the camera, probably not. It's just giving a little definition. Setting that other shoreline off just a hair. I'm trying to keep all these lines relatively level. So it looks like waterline even though I'm going up and back trying to give it a little little variation of where these shorelines come out. two other things I want to do here. First is add a little red. 
get a pink color and just top and define my posts out a little bit better. So I'm adding some bright red. Just a little bit. I don't want to get too obnoxious with this. So I added a little bright red. Okay, so now I want to, on the other side, just add in a couple little lights. And I'm making up just kind of a dull orange here. Don't want it to be too bright. mistake a big happy accident the best thing to do is just wipe it off and hope you get it all unfortunately the camera cut out uh, right as I got some thinner and went into the black and just kind of dragged in some little lines and reflections here underneath the dock that really helped sink it in the because the canvas has a texture to it, sometimes if your brush is too dry, it just drags across the top of the bumps. And getting that extra bit of moisture um, using the thinner, just a little tiny bit, helps soak it into those uh, nooks and crannies. So, like an English muffin. So, I was able to do that and just come back and clean up a couple things just to tighten up some of the lines that were really showing that canvas texture there. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I also went back over the highlights with just a touch of yellow because they were very pink. I don't know if you can see that in the camera view there, but they were very pink. So I just added a little yellow, got it a little more orangey just to match the sunset a little better and just kind of went and blended some of that stuff in there. So I, I feel like it looks a lot more consistent. So I think we're gonna call this one done. It's not perfect, but it's a good activity for uh, some home quarantine time. I hope you got your paints out or were able to do something creative with some of your vacation photos. And we'll maybe do another one similar to this soon. So I want to thank you for joining me. Have a great day.